Prithviraj, an automotive enthusiast. In the era of software dominating the car, when when each car have more than 50 plus issues, you may wonder, but why sometimes the number of watchdog are more than the issues itself. So today, let's learn about the watchdog and its basic functionality, its type and the mode and also the significance in automotive domain. A watchdog timer will be monitoring the behavior of the microcontroller. During normal operation, the microcontroller periodically informs the watchdog that I am alive by restarting the timer inside watchdog. Inherently, it tells the watchdog that I am working fine and please do not reset me. So, watchdog will wait till the specified time or time and if the microcontroller misses to trigger the watchdog and the timeout expires then automatically it generates the system reset watchdog is often used to tackle the software or hardware fault a watchdog timer could be internal means it will be located inside the microcontroller or it could be in a separate ic where it does not share the clock Let's see an example of watchdog timeout mode. Here in every 5 minute the microcontroller informs the watchdog timer by restarting the timeout time and hence watchdog will take this information as microcontroller is running normally. When there is a malfunction if you see in the second, second case that the microcontroller failed to trigger the watchdog in time which is the 5 minute. So, after expiry of the 5 minute it will detect it as a fault and hence it will generate the reset so in case of the external watchdog typically by pulling down the reset line of the microcontroller and it will force the microcontroller to reboot as we all know embedded systems behavior are static and deterministic majority of the functionality is dominated by the periodic tasks and the interrupts and with few addition of the event based when a system behavior moves away from normal due to failure condition for example let's say the program execution is stuck in an infinite loop to handle such scenarios we have a solution called post office in one famous case a nasa deep space probes computer locked up with the thruster rockets firing. By the time the ground controllers realize the problem and send a radio signal back to force a hardware reset, the probe had used all of the fuel. The processor had a watchdog timer but it was, was not used. The watchdog timer would have, have likely detected the fault and shut down the rocket motors in time to save the mission. So it is very important for an embedded system to have the watchdog timer. So the main purpose of of the watchdog is to counter an unexpected or uncertain behavior also to enter the fail safe conditions and also we have functional safety standard ISO 26262 which enforces us to have the watchdog timer for a more robust embedded system functionality wise watchdog is of two types timeout mode and window mode in in the timeout mode watchdog trigger can be performed anytime before watchdog timeout time we can see in this animation it, it can take place here here or here and so on which means the window is open for 100% of the time so the trigger can be performed any point of time the second mode is window mode window is divided into two parts closed window and open window in closed window time watchdog trigger is not supposed to take place triggering watchdog will generate a reset to the microcontroller in the closed window time so ideally trigger should be done in open window timing open window timing can be configured typically at 50% or 75% so if we have the window timing of 100 ms and window is set to 75% so allowed trigger time open window is in between 75 to 100 ms how to trigger the watchdog is the next question uh, for for the timeout mode it can be done via periodic task for the window mode we can have one timer based enter which could activate one asynchronous task and then it could do the watchdog trigger 
from hardware perspective watchdog are of two types the first one is internal second is external internal watchdog is sitting inside the microcontroller and using the same clock as cpu clock settings of watchdog can be done using option bytes for internal trigger can be done by updating the watchdog register value and the reset is generated by jumping to the reset address by the hardware second one is external watchdog it is a part of an external IC usually system basis chip it is usually inside system basis chip in automotive domain along with CAN and the LIN trans receiver examples are Infineon TLE926 ST L99 and also from Texas instruments we have TCAN4550 microcontroller choose controller may use the SPI communication for triggering the watchdog by transmitting a a specific value to control register of watchdog watchdog reset control pin will be connected to the reset pin of the microcontroller for generating the reset in fault conditions in automotive ecus will have two modes of operation slow and fast slow mode is the default mode which will be applied during initialization typically it will be around 200 to 300 millisecond it will be more apt during initialization to have slow mode as it is not convenient to trigger during init sequence mode can be changed to fast mode at the end of init sequence or in one of the periodic tasks. time of time out can be derived from system requirement for example the door control unit can have the timeout of 10 millisecond body control module can have around 100 millisecond though still it depends on the architectural design and also customer requirement and also it comes from the goals of functional safety window mode is more preferable choice as it is more robust implementation thank you guys for listening come back again for new topic in automotive domain